hi there welcome back to youtube channel again so in this tutorial video learn how to troubleshoot and fix the issue of your no device found in your gigabyte control center so follow the step by step instruction to resolve this common problem and get your gigabyte device up and running smoothly again so let's start this tutorial without wasting our time so now here are the first solution we have to do a update your gigabyte control center so first you have to open your gigabyte control center software on your computer then look for an update or a check for update option within the software interface so click on the update option to initiate a check for any available updates after you have to find there are the update needed so you have to download and install the latest update if and then you have to restart the gigabyte control center after updating to ensure the change take effect so now move to solution 2 you have to also update your bias so first you have to go to your official website of your motherboard manufacturer like example gigabyte and then find the download and latest bios updates specifically for your motherboard model and then you have to restart your computer and then access the bio setup by pressing a specific key example delete f2 f10 during startup so in this BIOS setup utility, you have to locate the option to update the BIOS and then you have to select the BIOS update file from the USB drive and then you have to follow the on-screen instruction to complete the process done. So now move to solution third. Manually launch Gigabyte Control Center. So sometimes manually launch Gigabyte Control Center can compass this problem. So you have to simply type Gigabyte Control Center in your Windows search bar and then you have to locate the Gigabyte Control Center in the search area result and click to open so and then there are the solution for also disable control for isolation so type windows security in the windows search bar then open windows security and navigate to device security on the left side and then click on the core isolation and toggle off the memory integrity and exit the window to complete the process like i'm sure you how you can do this first you have to click on the home section and then going to setting in setting you have to Go into privacy and security and now there are the option for windows security then there you have to go into device security and then the other option is core isolation so click on this and now that's how you can off your core isolation memory integrity to on so that's how you can run this solution in your system. And then we have to move to solution 5 to uninstall and restore your Gigabyte Control Center. So installation of your Gigabyte Control Center, so you have to simply go to your control panel. Like I'm sure you how you can do this. First you have to type the control panel. And then enter and there you have to go into program feature so there you have to find your gigabyte control center after finding you have to right click on it that's how i'm showing you how you can do this like this you have to simply and there are the option for installation you have to simply click on it that's how you can install your gigabyte control center in the system so now talking about reinstall your gigabyte control center first you have to download the latest version of your gigabyte control center from the official gigabyte website then run the download installer to begin the installation process. After the, you have to follow the installation wizard instruction to install your gigabyte. And then if control center does not appear in the add remove program list, so you can run the installation from the installation folder example like C program files controller center and then uniset.x. And then after reinstalling, check for any available update within the control center to ensure you have the latest version of the gigabyte control center. So now move to solution 6 to run a gmgs.exe. Navigate to the installation folder Gigabyte Control Center after you have to install your Gigabyte Control Center. Then double click on the gmgc file to execute it. After running gmgs.exe, so observe if it resolves any issue related to the, your Gigabyte Control Center facility. Now they are the last resort of your two. You have to visit their contact Gigabyte support team. So these are the link we provide in the description box. So there you can easily connect with them because you have to try all of the steps but not resolve the problem. So they are the last result you have to connect with them. 
so these are the some simple solution you have to take in when you take the problem of your gigabyte control center not of device form so thank you for watching the video i hope you like it and we will catch you in the next video